Let's Listen, there is a lot going on. A lot going on. It. Let's get right to it. We'll start with uh, what's happening right now. Clouds around, and as expected, uh, we're starting to see some additional returns here on the radar. We're in the 50s now. We'll stay in the 50s. And let's show you live Doppler 13 radar. Uh, light showers beginning to kind of pick up a little bit. Uh, the rain will become heavier as we go through the evening and overnight. We've been telling you about the winter storm. That's fully in progress. Big time. Uh, problems there from Denver to Minneapolis. We do not get snow with this. We get quite a bit of rain and we're going to get a lot of wind. Okay, this is the center of the storm as it intensifies the next 24 hours. Look at that wind field and those colors that you're seeing. Those are gusts over 30 miles per hour. So once we get into that, it's going to last into tomorrow afternoon. Okay, uh, there is a, a risk of severe thunderstorms and severe wind doesn't necessarily include the eastern half of the state. I think you just take that and move it all the way over there as well. Uh, this is this afternoon, okay, 50s, rain. Notice it becomes very widespread here by 7, 8 o'clock. We'll get into midnight, and we still have downpours around, some rumbles of thunder. We're waiting on a cold front. It gets close to the state line around 3 a.m., okay? This thing will come whipping through the state at about 50 miles per hour and it should be on the eastern side of the state by 6 a.m. Okay, in that time period, we could have pockets of 60 mile per hour plus wind gust that could do uh, some damage to trees here. So that's why that risk is going to put out. One thing you'll know about tomorrow too, we go from near 60 to the 40s in a hurry. So a big temperature drop. So we're going to call for anywhere a quarter to an inch of rain. Uh, the threat of tornadoes is low, but it doesn't matter what's causing that wind damage. We expect gusts 45 to 60. Power outage is very likely by this time tomorrow. And you can see on our wind gust potential, these are outside of thunderstorms. So uh, we're going to have uh, plenty of wind around. This afternoon, rain increasing likely by 6 or 7 p.m. Tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., we're near 60 degrees. By 6 a.m., we're near 40. So big drop in temperatures. Most of our day tomorrow spent in the 30s with wind uh, and cloud cover across central Indiana. And then as we get into tomorrow night into Thanksgiving, we're expecting cloudy, cold, but dry conditions. However, Matt, we're not expecting temperatures to get out of the 30s on Thanksgiving. Showers are possible on Friday. And we'll, again, we'll have to kind of see if we can thread the needle and get things in dry for circle of lights. Anything but dry to start out the weekend. Rain, wind, very likely on Saturday.